click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Now the second part we are going to discuss how to calculate the confidence level for a project. What exactly do we mean by confidence level of a project? The confidence levels can be interpreted as the chances of completion of a project in terms of probability. So if a client asks me what are the probable chances of completion of project in so and so days, I should be able to answer the client that the probability of completion is 80%, 90%, 60% or whatsoever. That is called as the confidence level. Let's discuss how it is calculated. The concept of calculating the probability basically appears only in PERT, it doesn't appear in CPM. And this is where we use something called as the standard normal distribution or the standard normal probability distribution. Now here we convert our numbers into standard normal variate. This standard normal variate are denoted by Z and this is calculated by using certain formulas under standard normal distribution and then we refer a normal distribution table just like we did in simulation we had random numbers here we have standard normal distribution tables which needs to be referred to get certain answers how that is done will be the crux of the part of today's lecture. So I'll first calculate the Z that is called as the standard normal variate and to calculate the Z we have got a formula. Z equals to T minus TE upon standard deviation. T minus TE upon standard deviation where T stands for target time. T is the expected completion time. And SD is the standard deviation. of the critical path. So these are the things we require and then we get a value called as the Z which is the nothing but standard normal variate and using this value we refer the normal distribution tables where the values are given in rows and columns. We make something called as the bell curve or a standard normal bell curve which I will explain but I won't use too much in the solutions or in the problems because it is not needed to that extent we can solve a problem even without drawing a bell curve. But then I have to explain you what is a bell curve. Now bell curve basically is a curve which indicates the normal distribution table or the pattern. Here we have a center called as the normal which will always show as a zero and then we have something like this which looks like a bell and this bell has equal probability on both the sides so it is perfectly symmetrical so it will have a probability of 0.5 to the left of the normal and 0.5 to the right of the normal and based on where your z values lie 
you will decide the answer. If z value lies on the left side, that is my z is negative, then my answer will differ. And if the z lies on the right hand side of the zero or the normal, then my, my answer will be positive. So this is somewhere we need to understand this concept. Uh, we need to follow a table called as a normal distribution table. In order to understand this whole thing. Thanks, thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe to our channel, Igida. E